Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising this, the Galavanta Baller STD. This vehicle was added as part of the Chop Shop DLC. It's based on the new Range Rover. It looks pretty nice, I have to say. Um, I do like Range Rovers. Not a huge SUV fan, uh, but I do like Range Rovers. So uh, let's take this thing up to the custom shop and see what kind of things we can modify on this. Alright guys, so here we are in the custom shop. Um, just like the last vehicle we customised, the new Cavalcade XL, this thing has an awesome panoramic sunroof, which is very, very cool, I have to admit. Uh, we do have some arch cover options for this thing. So the primary colour at the moment is white, secondary is black, so we can go for a primary arch kit, secondary arch kit, carbon and a black one. Um, I don't really know what kind of build I want to go for with this thing. It is like a luxury SUV, but we kind of did that in the last episode. Um, we did the off-road sort of police build um, with the Bravado Dorado. So I don't really know what we're going to go for in this. Uh, we'll just see as we go along, I guess. We could go for maybe like a race car build. Yeah, we'll go for a race car build. So gonna go with the primary arch kit we'll go for full armor we'll go for full brakes body trim options we've got the stock body trim we can go ahead and paint that primary so that changes the grill um, some of the little splitter options down there and the vents and the stripe along the side and the rear okay we can do that in secondary which as I said earlier is black we got a carbon version of that, and we've got black trim. I guess since we're going for a race car build, we'll paint that carbon. Uh, bumper options. This is the front bumper. We've got the stock. We can go for a small splitter, a medium splitter, or a race spec splitter. Um, I guess we'll go for the race splitter. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. A race build Range Rover, but... We'll just see as we go along, I guess. That's the beauty of GTA. You can make something wacky and crazy. Uh, rear bumpers. We've got a stock diffuser. We can go for a rear diffuser, a street diffuser, and a race diffuser. Um, I guess we'll go for the race diffuser. Since we're building a race car, we'll upgrade the engine. Exhaust options. This thing does sound... Uh, it does sound pretty meaty, to be honest. We can go for some square titanium exhausts. We've got the round bore. We've got the round titanium. Quad round bore. We've got the short bore titanium. We've got the quad polished exhausts. Um, the texturing on that is terrible. Uh, but there we go. That's Rockstar for you. And we've got the long bore titanium. Uh... I guess we'll go for those since we're going for a race car look. Um, hood options. So we've got the stock hood. We can go for a flat hood, which sort of removes those lines if you want a cleaner look. And we've got the sports hood, just with a little bulge there. We've got the vented sport hood. We've got the carbon vented sport hood. The vented race hood. The Rally Hood and the rent, uh, Vented Rally Hood. I like the Vented Race Hood. That looks pretty race carish. Big vents in the bonnet there. Uh, horn and lights, going to just ignore those. The stock lights, they are pretty Xenon looking already. Um, we move on to livery options. So we can actually make it look a bit more like a race car. We've got white stripes, which you can't see overly well. Um but we've got a black version of that which you can see better we've got white alternate which is just is it just on one side i can't even tell in this light yeah it's just on the left hand side we've got a black version of that as well we've got for king 
which has this really cool like Union Jack livery on it. That is actually pretty cool. I like that. Uh, oh, so we got for king and for country. It's like a black sort of like monochrome version. They're really cool. I like that actually. We got the Santa Nove, which I think is supposed to be like Gucci, um, which I'm not a fan of. We got the Santa Nova Alternate. Horrible. We got the dual camo. And we got dual camo alternate. And then we have the flint racing. I I really like this one, the monochrome um like for king and country one. So we're gonna go with that. That looks pretty cool. Uh mirror options. We've got the stock mirrors. We can go for those in secondary, carbon or black, which you're not gonna see much difference because they're all the same. Uh, then we've got the alternative mirrors in primary, secondary, carbon, and black. Uh, we'll go for those in carbon. They look a little bit nicer than the stock ones. They're a little bit more sporty. Uh, mud guards. Uh, it's basically just little mud flaps. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bother with those. Uh, I'm going for like a street race car build with this. Uh, plate options, I have no idea what colour we're going to paint this thing, so I'm just going to leave the plate stock. Uh, we'll come back to paint at the end, but we can go ahead and paint the interior, which is quite nice. So we'll come back and choose a colour at the end, because I don't really know how this build's going to look yet. <coughs> Okay, roof options next. We've got the stock roof. We can go for full primary, full secondary, full carbon, and full black. So what is it stock? It's like a little bit carbon. I'm going to go ahead and paint that primary. I think that actually looks a little bit better now. Uh, spoiler options. Right, we need a big wang on this thing. So we've got the... Uh, Trunk upper, primary, secondary, carbon, and a black version of that. Then we got the trunk cutout in primary, secondary, carbon, and black. Then we got the aggressive trunk cutout in primary. We got that in secondary, carbon, and in black. Then we got the trunk mounted spoiler. This is where it gets a bit more race car looking. We got that in primary we can go for the trunk mounted wing we've got a trunk mounted race wing we've got the big wing and that's all of them i'm gonna go for this one uh since we're going for a race car build um sun strip options we've got to have a sun strip on a race car we can go for non plastic primary or secondary we'll go for primary that looks pretty good. Uh, we want to lower it as much as possible. Or maybe we don't want to go that low. Uh, but we do get a pretty big drop in this thing. I'm just going to go down to street suspension. Just going to just get rid of that arch gap. But it's not crazy. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll go for full transmission and turbo tuning. And we need some like sporty wheels. I do quite like the wheels that this thing has on it have to admit um if there was like a option to paint the stock wheels then this would actually look pretty cool uh so i'll go ahead and choose some wheels and then we'll go ahead and paint this thing okay i found these wheels in the street category they're called uh deep snowflakes they're right at the bottom and i've gone ahead and painted them in a dark gray color which i think looks pretty cool um they kind of look like sort of stock like SVR wheels on a real Range Rover, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, I have gone ahead and applied bulletproof tyres, but I think we should go for some tyre lettering. We'll go for... Uh, hmm. I like white tyre lettering. I guess we'll go for these ones, the Fakaru ones. I'm not going to go for tyre smoke. I'm not going to tint the windows since this is supposed to be a race car. We want as much visibility as possible. But what I have just decided to do is go back to body trim options and actually go ahead and paint this primary. 
because it was interfering with the livery a little bit. That actually looks a little bit better. I wish you could change the grill and the other bit separately, but I think that looks it looks better on the side. I don't like the look on the front, but it's a race car. So uh, let's go ahead and choose a color for this thing. I'm just going to have a quick scroll through and see what kind of color would look good. Uh, maybe just a harbor blue pearlescent looks pretty good. Um, secondary option is going to change any of the secondary options that you've chosen. I haven't applied any of those on here. Um, so I'm just going to leave that black for now. And then the trim options, I guess we could go ahead and match it as harbor blue. If we can get harbor blue. There we go. You can't really see it that well from the outside, but I guess it matches the exterior there and uh, that is my build done let me know what you guys think of it it's a little bit odd um, but let's go ahead and take it outside we'll see what kind of performance this thing has we'll open up all the doors have a little look at the interior and the engine bay at some of the detailing and then uh, we'll we'll have a little drive around in it as well all right so here we are in the baller std race car it looks uh, a little bit insane, especially with the panoramic roof as well. Um, I did forget to mention this thing does have Amani tech. Uh, you can upgrade it in the agency garage and apply the missile lock-on jammer or the remote control feature as well as the armor plating. So it will actually survive at least one rocket if they do manage to get hit on you. Uh, this thing is pretty fast. I don't know how it compares to some of the other SUVs in the category, whether this is the new fastest. Um, but it does feel pretty good. Uh, it's got a good amount of grip in the corners as well. Obviously that big wing will be helping and it does have all wheel drive as well. All right, so here we go with all the doors open. And now something to note, if you do apply this spoiler option, you can actually open the trunk, uh, which is, uh, interesting so that's something to bear in mind if you do want to open the trunk for like car meets and stuff like that then if you apply this rear wing option then you won't be able to um it is a four seater so if you have some buddies that you want to take around los santos with you then you can the interior i'm sure this is just taken out of one of the old ballers probably from the original um cars in the game i don't think this is a custom interior for this car it does look pretty cool sort of sat this low the engine bay is uh lacking a little bit but the exterior looks pretty good well there we go guys that is my customization and showcase for the baller std let me know what you guys think of this vehicle in the comment section down below are you going to be buying this have you already bought it and what do you think of my customization? It's uh, an unusual build. I wasn't really sure what to do with this thing. I, d I don't know if a race car build was the best thing to do. But I wanted to try something different instead of just the off-road look or the sort of like high-end build. I knew this thing would have like a big wing option. And if any vehicle suits it, it is a Range Rover. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video.